Here are some skeletal views of the platonic solids. The tetrahedron. The cube. The octahedron. The dodecahedron. and the icosahedron. Platonic solids occur in nature. Some crystals are shaped like platonic solids. Some microscopic organisms, called radiolaria, have skeletons shaped like platonic solids. Some molecules have the structure of platonic solids. The symmetry of these figures has fascinated not only the ancient Greeks, but also artists of the Renaissance, including Leonardo da Vinci and the architects and sculptors of today. Cubes have been used as dice in games of chance from earliest times. Cubos actually means dice in Greek. All of the five platonic solids have been used as dice for thousands of years. Since all faces, edges, and corners of a platonic solid are exactly the same, any face has an equal chance of being chosen when you throw the dice. The relationships of the platonic solids to each other fascinated the mathematician and astronomer Johannes Kepler almost 400 years ago. He proposed a model for the orbits of the six planets known at that time, using spheres in which were inscribed the platonic solids. But later, the discovery of more planets and his own discovery of elliptical orbits proved this theory to be incorrect. As Kepler was working with one polyhedron inside another, he discovered duality. Every polyhedron has one related polyhedron, which is called its dual. Take a cube. Now put a point at the center of each face. This yields six points. Then connect the points on adjacent faces. These line segments form the edges of an octahedron, whose vertices are at the centers of the faces of the original cube. The octahedron is the dual of the cube. Now do the same with the octahedron. Put a point at the middle of each face, and then connect the points on adjacent faces. The eight faces of the octahedron form a new figure with eight vertices. It is the cube. The cube is the dual of the octahedron. The octahedron has six vertices and eight faces. 
The cube has eight vertices and six faces. The roles of face and vertex have been interchanged. This is what duality means. Take the icosahedron and put a point at the center of each face. Connecting the points on the five faces surrounding a vertex forms a pentagon. Connecting points on all adjacent faces makes the dodecahedron. The dodecahedron is the dual of the icosahedron. Now put points at the centers of the faces of the dodecahedron. Connecting the points on the three faces surrounding a vertex forms a triangle. Connecting the points on all adjacent faces makes the icosahedron. So the icosahedron and the dodecahedron are duals of each other. Here's another look at duality. Each vertex of the cube corresponds to a face of the octahedron. The cube is the dual of the octahedron. Each vertex of the octahedron corresponds to a face of the cube. The octahedron is the dual of the cube. The cube and the octahedron are duals of each other. The icosahedron and dodecahedron are duals of each other. Just like the four other platonic solids, the tetrahedron also has a dual. What is it?